Welcome back to the Harvey Five. Today we're going to be making Korean street cheese dogs. include in it. We have one cup plus two tablespoons all-purpose flour, two teaspoons baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, an egg, three quarters cup of cold milk, then we've got a cup of panko breadcrumbs, and then I've got a little extra flour here just for dusting the cheese. It's not a specific amount. But first, what you're going to do is you're going to skewer the cheese on these little bamboo, bamboo skewers. You can try one. You put the skewer in the cheese. Try not to poke it through the edge, which I probably will do. See how I'm doing that? Oh, see it went through. Put it back in the middle. Go all the way through the cheese. And then we're going to dust it in the flour. But... We're going to do these all first. You want to do one? I'm doing I don't think you can. <laughs> They're pokey. There you go. We're just going to do four today because we've not tried this, so we're not sure what it tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> this is a new one. Are you perfect? Perfect. perfect. Lay it on the flour. Okay, you want to do the last one? Yeah. I'm going to do the last one. We're going to go ahead and coat the whole thing. Really good. It also says that after we coat them in the flour, we have to put it in the refrigerator, or I'm sorry, the freezer, for five to ten minutes to make sure everything in this recipe stays cold. So that everything sticks and makes it nice and crunchy <laughs> breading. So we're going to really coat it good. I think that's pretty good for those. I'll, I'll just stick this whole plate in the freezer with the flour on it. Here, let's get those. We actually did have to cut our bamboo skewers to fit in our pan because they were pretty long when you get them at the store. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in the freezer for 10 minutes. Okay, so while our cheese is in the freezer, we're going to go ahead and make our batter. So I'm going to put in the one cup and two tablespoons all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, and then I'm going to make a well in the center. Kind of. That's where we're going to put our wet ingredients because we're going to kind of mix them first before we mix the dries. Let's hope I don't get no shell in there. I hope you don't. Okay, Caroline, you can pour the milk in there. Right in the middle. That was three quarters cup milk. That's okay. So you kind of mix the wets first, scramble the egg up in there make sure it's all broken up and then you kind of mix the dry ingredients this is going to be a thick batter because it's going to want to stick to that cheese really good now they put it the video that we watched she put it in a cup when she was done mixing it so that it would be easier to dip the corn dogs yeah that's nice and thick 
But we're going to go ahead and refrigerate, uh, put it in a cup. Well, I'll put it in a cup first, and then we're going to refrigerate it so that it'll stay cold as we're getting everything else ready. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in this cup so it'll be easier to dip the cheese in. Now, these are called Korean cheese dogs, but the funny part is there's no dog in it. Now, I'm not sure why they call them cheese dogs other than they look like corn dogs when they're done. There's just cheese in them. So, fill that cup with the batter. I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it stay cold while our cheese continues to stay in the freezer. Okay, so the two sauces they use on this Korean cheese dogs is when they're finished and they're done frying, they put a sprinkle of honey mustard and then a mixture of ketchup and sriracha sauce, equal parts. So we have to make that. I actually have the honey mustard that we don't have to make. I'm tired. I'm yawning. So I'm going to try to just do equal and then mix it together. I said that's enough. And we're preheating our oil. Is that open? to 350 degrees to fry them in. I'm not sure what sriracha tastes like. I've never tasted it. Have you guys? No. <laughs> okay. Is that equal? Maybe I should do a little more ketchup. I, I guess the sriracha is spicy because this is honey mustard and spicy ketchup is what it, you're supposed to put on it. It smells spicy. It smells mm -hmm. like hot peppers a little bit. Oh, it smells good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our two sauces are ready. You could put it in a squirter bottle if you wanted to be fancy, but we don't have a squirter bottle. So I'm going to let the oil continue to preheat. When it gets to 350, we'll go ahead and batter up the dogs, and we'll come back and uh, put them in there and get them frying. Okay, so we have our flour-dusted cheese that we've had in the freezer for around 10 minutes. I've got our um, corn dog or cheese dog batter that we also had chilling. We've got our bread crumbs. So you're just gonna take this and Yum. dip it very good in here. Roll it around, make sure it sticks all around. The lady that said even let it thick. stick to the stick a little. It's very thick. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. Dip it in the breadcrumbs. Then we're going to lay it on the plate to be frying later. Oh, it's falling off. <laughs> here, let's do, let's go ahead and just put it in the fryer as we make it. That way they don't all fall off. Come over here. Because that's kind of what she did. We've been preheating the oil. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in there see what happens like I said this is the first time we've ever done this it's frying pretty no touching girls and we're gonna go ahead and keep dipping these and putting them in the fryer you want to do one I'm doing okay go ahead I'm ah, gonna take this one over to the fryer you can watch her dip that if you want to what's this say? Probably not going to do it good enough. Maybe don't make the batter so thick. I'm going to do this on mom. I don't know. They had it pretty thick on theirs. Well, the batter's just falling off. Okay, go ahead. That's okay, good. Can I do this one? Go ahead. Hold on. Yep, go ahead and do that one. I'll stick it in here. Oh. oh. <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> Watch it. Okay. This is difficult, guys. It's not going to stick to one side. <laughs> Maybe we should have did this before we did it. Let's put this in here. Oh, they look pretty. They look pretty. Let's get this last one in here, and then I'm going to flip those, see if they need to be flipped. 
Now they didn't give a certain time to fry them, just until they were golden brown. They're sure pretty, aren't they? This one was the last one I put in, so it's not ready yet. I don't really want the cheese to pop out and melt everywhere. That's pretty. <laughs> I don't want to roll over there. It doesn't want to stay. I'm chasing them. <laughs> chasing them around the pot. There. This one might look a little bit done. It's pretty brown. I'm going to turn the oil off because I feel like they're almost done. And these are the only four we're making. So I'm trying to hold it. Okay, I think this one is done. Let me let me get a plate to put it in. And then I'm gonna put them on the um, cooling rack over here so that the grease will drip off. That one might be done too. It looks pretty brown. Oh my. <laughs> Don't those look pretty? This cheese is kind of, it smells like a carnival in here. It does. It smells like funnel cakes or something. We're going to go ahead and take it out. Because the cheese is kind of popping out the end and I don't want it to here, let me put it on the cooling rack so some of the grease can drip off. Now, the funny part about this is she says don't knock until you try it. You're supposed to put sugar on it, which is very strange. But that's what we're going to do. So while it's still, let's see if I can touch it. Yeah? While it's still pretty hot. I'm going to put the sugar in there while it's wet. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and Sprinkle sugar all over it. <laughs> Can I do it? Okay, I'm gonna lay that one aside. I'm just gonna keep sugar in them. This is kind of rolling on the stick. Yeah. It's so good. That one looks delicious. It's got cheese popping out on all kinds of. Spots. Go ahead. Caroline's going to sugar this one for us. <laughs> you can do it with your fingers. Okay. And then you put the sauce on it. Right. And now you can just lay yours in there. Now you sprinkle, I don't know how we're going to sprinkle the ketchup, but you're just supposed to kind of do this, this kind of thing. Yeah. Just spread it all over. And then the honey mustard, which I probably didn't open. Nope. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> the counter is covered with sugar. Technical difficulties. Okay, I got it. Now let's see if we can make it pretty. Who don't like honey mustard? Not me. Not you. Okay. That's a lot. Now we're gonna we're gonna give it a try and see if it's any good. All right, guys, it's time to try this Korean cheese dogs. Let's go. I've never tasted it, so this is the first for me. <laughs> go ahead. Wait, wait. You can't eat when it's stringy cheese. I'll eat this one. I'm trying the one with no sauce on first. I try to. I'm and scared. it is absolutely amazing. <laughs> wow. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try the one with sauce on it. Do it. Macy can have a little bite. Here. Chew it good. Alright, I'm going to try the one with the sauce on it. That one's 
really kind of silly. He kind of such a mess. That is really good. You guys need to really try this. You guys like it? Yeah. All right. So this was the um, first time that we tried the Korean cheese dogs. Tell them what to do. Please subscribe <laughs> to this channel. Com uh, comment down below if you think these would be good. And give us a big thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.